Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about Was Zordon sacrificed in vain? Was it pointless? Don't get me wrong, and once and always, it was very creative how they brought Rita back. And, you know, I think that, like, you know, it would have been hard to come up with a logical way for her evil to come back. And so basically it's like, you know, the Z wave hit and with a lot of like, you know, the evil, like, you know, bosses, their evil and monster form disappeared and their alien human looking form reappeared and their evil assumed was destroyed. But now we know it was never destroyed. It just, um kind of washed off them and spread throughout the galaxy so it didn't even so his z-wave didn't even destroy like evil and stuff and that's really crappy in my opinion because the thing about when zordon sacrificed himself this is when power rangers was going into a different era they was getting away from the zordon era and moving forward they were world building and cooking like never before. And so Zordon's death really hit fans. It hit fans. It hit me, especially like in my heart, man. It's like, oh my God, no. Not only did they kill him, but they killed him on screen. And it's just like your heart dropped into like, you know, your gut and everything. And it's like, it just hit like this empty bottomless hole in everything. And it was just kind of like, I can't believe they did that. They, they got rid of Zordon. Like, he is the mentor of the original Power Ranger team. And he's been the mentor since, like, you know, the first few episodes, or maybe the first episode, or first few episodes of Turbo. And then they just got rid of the dude. And then they replaced him with Demetrio, and nobody liked <laughs> And it was just, like, a very sad day in Power Rangers history when that happened and he did it because like you know he knew that there was so much evil in the universe and you know his power is being drained and you know and his sacrifice was like his last like you know like last thing he could give to the people that like he protected of earth and then that the universe and not only that but his last like goodbye uh his last gift to like that of the power rangers who he has mentored you know because he's mentored um two teams in general but he knows andros and stuff and he's never met the second um 2.0 version of the tur um, turbo rangers but like you know he's helped assist them like behind the scenes and so this was just very shocking in everything the rangers lost their father figure and and so like that has weight to it like real implications of weight and so but now in the hasbro era they're all like, hey, Power Rangers is getting to his 30th anniversary. Hey, Power Rangers might be ending. So let's bring back two of the big bads of like, you know, the Mighty Morphin era. And so Dino Fury brought back Lord Zed. I forget how, I, no, 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 no. First Beast Morphers did it when they brought back Goldar Maximus and everything based on Goldar. And I forget how they did that. It was weird. Uh, I think they cloned him somehow. And then in Dino Fury, I forget how they brought Lord Zed back. But they brought him back when he was at his most evil before, you know, he showed up on Earth and started to be like, um, um, and started being like silly and everything in season three. And now, once and always, has brought back Rita. And so it's just kind of like. Well, dude, it's kind of like they're undermining that huge sacrifice for fan service and everything. Fan service of bringing back these, like, major bad guys and everything. 
but they're forgetting about why he was destroyed in the first place why he sacrificed himself in the first place and i, th I think that just like completely undermines and it, his sacrifice was just in vain you know what i'm saying and it's just it's, it's like iron man like if they were to bring back tony stark or black widow then what was the point of them dying and everything? It's kind of like in comics when a hero dies and they just come back to life. You know, and they do that just for like the fans. But sometimes the fans deserve just to have that like sacrifice, um, facial death. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it was such a huge part of this story. Now, probably one reason why they got rid of Zordon is because two people played him in the show. One dude did the facial expressions and the other one did the voice. And the one that did the facial expressions only did it in the pilot. And so they kept reusing the same stock footage to him, like turning around, looking at the Rangers, talking. And it tricked me, man. I thought like by Zio and Turbo, they was filming new stuff. <laughs> but they tricked me, man. <laughs> <laughs> and the voice um actor dude i'm not sure when he died but i think it was way after in space so they were trying to get away from that you know because they were trying to bring on more mentors and you know ranger stories being far far away and stuff like that and they couldn't keep having zordon be there and so like you know but still i just think like you know bringing back all these bad guys and now knowing every monster he destroyed their evil spirit is still out there somewhere and it could easily take hold and take shape of like someone or something to be reformed and that to me just pisses me off Alrighty, well i'll talk to y'all later bye